Good evening, everybody. This is Alex Spears, owner of Through the Decades Sports Cards and Gaming. First, wanted to give you guys a quick tour of Friday Night Magic before we answer Dwayne Maddox's question. So take a quick walk with me, and we'll get to the questions. So every Friday night at 7 o'clock, we host Standard, Modern, Legacy, Commander, and Draft. So the reason we're giving you a quick tour is when we do get to the back and answer Dwayne Maddox's question, I think it'll help give you a little better visual when I start to answer the questions. So Dwayne's question was, as an on and off Magic player who has never played in an organized event, what is the best event to attend for your first event? Dwayne mentioned a couple examples like open houses and pre-releases, and though we feel those are great opportunities to meet new people, practice playing Magic, and getting a feel for an organized event, I don't really think it answers the question that you were looking for. So with open houses, they're generally designed for people that have never played Magic before or have very little knowledge of Magic. And Dwayne basically mentioned that he'd been playing off and on since the 90s, so it feels like he probably has a better grasp on the game than a new player, so we didn't feel like that would be his best option. The great thing about pre-releases are, in our store especially, you will have between 80 and 120 players for that event. It is a sealed event where you'll get six booster packs and everybody builds their best deck out of those six packs. And I think those are great events, especially for new players. And it's also great for competitive players or experienced players because you get an opportunity to play with cards that you haven't been able to play with before and a week early. But it doesn't really fit what you're asking because those are only every three months, basically. So what I thought was I would give you the quick tour of Friday Night Magic so you could get a visual of the idea and also answer your question at the same time. The reason I love Friday Night Magic, especially through the decades, but I know virtually every organized store does it, is that we actually host more than just one event. So as you saw in the room with our large play space, it gives you an opportunity to choose between Modern, Standard, Legacy, Commander, and Draft. So first I'm gonna talk about the pre-constructed formats where you build your deck, bring it in, and play against other players. So the great thing about Magic is all the events are Swiss, so even if you lose the first round, you get to continue to play. So you, if it's a five round event, which most of ours are, you would get to play in every round, win or lose. So it gives you an opportunity to meet more people, test out your deck, get better feedback for what worked and what didn't. The other thought we had was, in your situation where since you've been playing off and on for so long, we were afraid that maybe you didn't have enough cards or all the cards that would be needed to really be competitive in each format. So we thought draft might be the best option for you. You basically start with three booster packs of whatever set we choose. Generally, we're currently we're doing Iconic Masters and Ixalan because they're the two newest sets. Next week, we'll be doing Unstable, which will be a super fun one. Um, but basically what you do is you get three booster packs, you'll open your first pack, you'll take the card out of it that you choose to play with, and then pass the remaining 14 cards. The person next to you will pass their pack with the 14 cards, you'll take one card out of it, passing that, leaving 13, then you'll pick the person next to you with 13 packs, pick one card, on and on and on as it rotates around the table. Then the next pack, you open it up, it passes the other way, continuing to do the same thing. Third pack passes the original first way, and in the end, you're still gonna have three booster packs worth of cards, but you would have had the opportunity to pick the cards that you most likely wanna play with, fit your color and play style. So that's a great way to get newly introduced to organized events, get new cards, and be at an event where you get to meet all the new players, make new friends, and have an opportunity. So that is basically the sum up the best way we could do Dwayne Maddox questions but feel free to contact me and let me know if you were thinking something else or if we could help you with the cards you already have and figure out what format might be best with you based on the collection you've already built and then help you build a deck that would fit both your play style and likes and we also feel might be competitive for you in the room. So thank you guys for watching episode three. Stay tuned for episode four in which we answer Richard Hart's questions. If you have questions that you would like answered, please post them in the comments and we'll make sure if we don't answer them on stream, we will at minimum get you a, a written response on your comment. Thanks again, guys. Have a great Friday night.